Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice logarithmic equation log base 3 of 4 of uh, x over 3 plus log base 1 over 2 of x over 2 is equal to negative 2. Our job is to find the value of x. So, let us start by using this log property log base b of a is equal to log base c of a divided by log base c of b. This can be written as log base 2 of x over 3 divided by log base 2 of 3 over 4 plus this can be written as log base 2 of x over 2 divided by log base 2 of 1 over 2 is equal to negative 2. Now, by using this log property log of a over b is equal to log of a minus log of b. This log base 2 of x over 3 will become log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of 3 divided by this uh, log base 2 of 3 over 4 will become log base 2 of uh, 3 minus log base 2 of 4 plus this log base 2 of x over 2 will become log base 2 of x minus log base 2 of 2 divided by this log base 2 of 1 over 2 will become log base 2 of 1 minus log base 2 of 2 is equal to negative 2. Now, we suppose that let log base 2 of x is equal to m and log base 2 of 3 is equal to n. So, this equation will become m minus n divided by n minus this log base 2 of 4 can be written as log base 2 of 2 squared plus place of this log base 2 of x we write m minus this log base 2 of 2 can be written as a log base 2 of 2 to the power 1 divided by this log base 2 of 1 can be written as a log base 2 of 2 to the power 0 minus this log base 2 of 2 can be written as a log base 2 of 2 to the power 1 is equal to negative 2. Now, by using this log property log base b of b to the power a is equal to a. This log base 2 of 2 to the power 2 will become 2 this log base 2 of 2 to the power 0 will become 0 this log base 2 of 2 to the power 1 will become 1 and this log base 2 of 2 to the power 1 will become 1. So, this equation will become m minus n divided by n minus 2 plus m minus 1 divided by 0 minus 1 is equal to negative 2. Next, m minus n divided by n minus 2. This 0 minus 1 will become negative 1. So, we remove this 0. And when we divide this plus m with this negative 1, this will become negative n. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 will become plus 1 is equal to negative 2. Now, we move this uh, negative m and this plus 1 to the right hand side. Then this will become m minus n divided by n minus 2 is equal to 
this negative m will become positive m and this negative 2 this plus 1 will become negative 1 and this negative 2 minus 1 will become negative 3 we can write the denominator 1 and we use cross multiplication we multiply this m minus n by this 1 and we multiply this n minus 2 by this m minus 3 so this will become m minus n is equal to m minus 3 times n minus 2 next m minus n is equal to m times n m n m times negative 2 negative 2 m and negative 3 times n negative 3 n and negative 3 times negative 2 plus 6 now we move with these two terms m n minus 2 m to the left hand side and this negative n to the right hand side then this will become m in this negative 2 m will become positive 2 m this uh, plus m n will become negative m n is equal to this negative 3 n negative 3 n and this negative n at right side become positive n plus 6 next m plus 2 m will become 3 times n minus m n is equal to we write this 6 first 6 and this negative 3 n plus n will become negative 2 n from these two terms we can factor out m in bracket left 3 minus n is equal to from these two terms we can factor out 2 2 as common in bracket left 3 minus n now we divide both sides by 3 minus n at right hand side we divide by 3 minus n this n n cannot be equal to 3 now this 3 minus n will be cancelled out with this 3 minus n and this 3 minus n will be cancelled out with this 3 minus n and we get the value of m is equal to 2 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that log base 2 of x is equal to m we have supposed that log base 2 of x is equal to m so when m is equal to 2 this equation will become log base 2 of x is equal to 2 now by using this log property log base b of c is equal to a this is a logarithmic form and if we convert it in exponential form this will become b to the power a is equal to c so this logarithmic form implies that x is equal to 2 to the power 2 and this implies that x is equal to 4 so this is the value of x this is the final answer now let us verify this value of x the original equation is log base 3 over 4 of x over 3 plus log base 1 over 2 of x over 2 is equal to negative 2 so when x is equal to 4 then this will become log base 3 over 4 of 4 over 3 plus log base 1 over 2 of 4 over 2 is it equal to negative 2 next log base 3 over 4 of 4 over 3 plus log base 1 over 2 of this 4 over 2 will become 2 over 1 is it equal to negative 2 
now by using this power rule if we have a over b to the power n we can write this as b over a to the power negative 1 so this 4 over 3 can be written as 3 over 4 to the power negative 1 and in the same way this 2 over 1 can be written as 1 over 2 to the power negative 1 by using this log property log base b of b to the power a is equal to a this log base 3 over 4 of 3 over 4 to the power negative 1 will become negative 1 and this log base 1 over 2 of 1 over 2 to the power negative 1 will become negative 1 so at left hand side we are left with negative 1 plus negative 1 is it equal to negative 2 this negative 1 plus negative 1 will become negative 2 is equal to negative 2 you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side means this value of x4 is a valid solution